There are nine types of herpes. The type linked to the neurological form is mainly EHV1. EHV1 can produce a mutant strain, which makes it neurotropic, which means it can be potentially fatal as it affects the nervous system. Horses affected by EHV1 generally suffer a transient respiratory infection associated generally with fever, but there is a potential that a very small proportion of these horses could be affected neurologically. This is unusual. After acute infection, we could be presented with two scenarios. First one, that the horse has recovered in full, and second, that horses become latent carriers. The virus hides in the lymph nodes and stays there, living in harmony. In a study, it was found that just over 50% of horses in a population of thoroughbreds were carriers, and of that proportion, 18% carried the neurotropic form of the EHV1. These proportions could easily be applied to the rest of the population in the world. Horses could act as a biological reservoir. The latent form of the virus can be woken up when horses undergo stressful situations. This could be travelling, competitions or disease etc. And they can start shedding the virus or they may develop themselves the neurological form. If the EHV mutant strain is shed, we could be presented with more horses affected by the potentially fatal neurological form. As vaccination does not prevent the neurological form, but it can limit the extent and widespread of EHV1 in the horse population.